The 2012 Leatherneck season starts this weekend at Georgia State, and this year they have their eyes set on not only making the Summit League Tournament, but winning the Summit League Tournament. The goals during the fall are just to, uh, to get better every day, just like we always try to do, and to prepare ourselves to win a conference championship. To win the conference, uh, make it to the regional, you know, go as far as we can. Individually, you know, just go out there and compete every, every game. Uh, do what I can to help the team win, and uh, as a team, we're looking to bring in a conference championship. Hopefully, a lot of wins and a lot of uh, competitiveness, and uh, you know, I'm definitely going to give it all that I have out on the field. Uh, I feel like we've grown, uh, know how to approach the hitters a little better. Coming from ju junior college, um, the competition's a little better. Well, we set goals in the beginning of the year to you know make the tournament. We did that, and I think that gave us a big confidence booster into. Uh, this season, especially some of the new arms we got in. And uh, I don't know, I think the confidence is up from last year, especially for most of the seniors, since we have a lot of them. And uh, hopefully that carries on into the freshmen. We play a very, very um, difficult schedule last year. At one point, we played the 21st most difficult schedule in the nation. And uh, we think this schedule is even a little bit tougher than that one. But, you know, it's going to be a test. It's going to make sure that we're prepared for our conference play. And, you know, I think that we're going to match up against some teams much better than what they expect. We're much deeper behind the plate with, uh, with Manny Reyes. Um, Who's, a, who's an excellent catch and throw guy. We have Austin Cowan that, that actually moved back there from shortstop too that's, that you know, put himself into possibly being a pretty good draft pick. Um, and then Mark Garten, who's a freshman. So I mean, we have three guys that all can throw, so we're not gonna get ran on very often. And uh, at third base, Igarra moved from the outfield into there. Marcuse will be back there. We have a couple freshmen working in the mix also. Uh, shortstop Jamison Henning from Wisconsin, who's a freshman, who's a fantastic defensively, great body. Could be a real good pro prospect later on also. Um, you know, it gave us the flexibility to move Austin back there, having Jamison come in, which was nice. And then at second base, there's a mixture of guys. Austin, obviously, when he's not uh, when he's not catching, will probably be over at second base or third base. And then you have Baritono and uh, and a couple young guys, Ewing and Turner, that mix in there too, that had the opportunity to get in there and get some playing time at first base. Uh, Lil just back, who's got to defend better. He knows that. And uh, Richie Macheri obviously hit 385 two years ago. He'll mix. He'll, he'll work some time in at first base along with Steve Kudrowski. Um, in the outfield, Dispenza, who had a fantastic, uh, fantastic summer in the Northwoods League, was an all-star there. Uh, he, he should be in center field. And then uh, uh, Ryan Cowie is uh, getting better. All these JUCO kids from last year, you know, the first year JUCO kids, they, they always struggle a little bit. So, you know, they have the adjustment period behind them, and now they're ready to probably uh, take their ability to the next level. Um, and then you have, like I said, uh, with, with Ryan out there, he's gotten much better. And then uh, transfer uh, Vince Howard from uh, um, St. Louis, he, uh, he'll, be, he'll be a very important you know, player for us, obviously a great runner. And then there's a few other guys, the Dan Owenbees, and you know, there's a few guys that'll actually have their chance to get out there and play. We're much deeper this year, just because of the young arms we brought in and uh, having Richie Mashiri back, who had two fantastic summers in a row. Um, and he might be at the top of the rotation. The couple young kids are going to work their way into the rotation also. Um, and then we have everyone back that we had last year. We really don't have very many key losses, you know, anywhere on the field. Obviously, any time that you can uh, play live outside, you know, like we are today in the month of uh, February and the month of January, it's, it's absolutely incredible. It obviously is a competitive advantage to the teams that are a little bit further north from us. Every team creates their own identity and we're just trying to come up with something that makes you excited, you know, that makes our guys excited. And, you know, Purple Rain, I mean, it's, it's kind of a cool song and it's something a little different. We have to embrace the color purple and uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. Hopefully we hear it a tremendous amount more this year than we did last year. And we have 22 home games, maybe even uh, a couple more that we might be adding, which will be nice. And uh, hopefully after every one of those home games, we get to hear Purple Rain. Everybody loves Prince, don't they?